Hey Warpugs, today we're going to be checking out something requested by Fiora Varela, and this is Bricky's Schizophrenic Mega Man, aka Mibibli's Quest. I have no idea what this is. Guys, um, oh my god. So, with everything that's going on, I am trying to get ahead of schedule, on time, ahead of schedule, all the other kind of stuff. Um, everything is kind of powering forward. I did want to announce something kind of interesting that I'm going to be trying to do. I'm going to make an attempt at doing it. I can't make any promises because I've never tried anything like this before, but I'm going to be releasing a Patreon exclusive, which is going to be the actual, now the script writing process I'm not going to put because it would just be a lot of lines on the pages, but I'm going to be doing the entire from beginning to end of the editing process of Latara Sarin. So the five-ish minute lore is going to be put up and it's going to be a beginning to end of the edit process, how everything goes in. And you're going to get to see like pretty much the entire editing process. It's going to be vastly sped up. I'm going to, you know, edit it down as well. Things of that nature. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing that. I'm making an attempt at it because I've never tried anything like that before. And that's going to be open for all Patreons, but, um, that's going to be after I finish that. We'll see how it goes. I don't know how I'm actually going to pull it off because editing is a labor and editing is a uh, CPU intensive process to begin with. I definitely can't do anything in After Effects while I'm doing it because my computer will die. Um, but luckily, it's a five-ish and not anything that I have to use After Effects for. That being said, we're going to be getting into Schizophrenic Mega Man, aka. Movies quest. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's jump into it. Here we go. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna stop boomering it now. Here we go. Hello, I'm here to sell you gamer subs. Yes. It's delicious. And I'm sponsored by them. Oh. And I get money when you buy them. It's oh. really good. You drink it. And you don't drink soda and stuff instead. Calories? Zero. Tasty? I'd say so. Options? Many. There's new flavors out now. One of okay. them is delicious red raspberry. One of them involves anime thighs. Anime girl thigh. What? This is... This is a... I need one named after me called Boomer, and the taste is, is, is disappointment. You can drink anime thighs mixed with go. sparkling water, so it's like you never did quit soda, and it still tastes <laughs> good, and it's zero cal. I mix it with vodka, water, gamer subs, and vodka. There you Does go. Does it taste good? Actually, kind of, yeah. Though I, I'm not telling you to do that. <laughs> I'm not telling you to, to do that. You can use code Bricky for 10% off your code purchase. Bricky, and off, you can guys. use the link in the description to get some. And if you use... Guys, this video came out about 11 days ago. I will be putting that in the description down below to get your guys some gamer subs. I've been thinking about getting it for myself. I'm going to... I might actually give it a shot this time. Code Bricky, I get money and you save 10% off your purchase. There you go. Go do it after we talk about Schizophrenic Mega Man. Yay! Hello, everybody. My name is Bricky. Currently experiencing epileptic fits of agony due to the video game behind me. That was only half a joke, please. Uh, if you have epilepsy or are disturbed by flashing colored lights, your discretion is advised. Mm -hmm. I would like to introduce you to Mabibli's Quest. Okay. Mabibli's Quest is the passion project of one to two developers and was released in August of 2016. Mabibli's Quest is also the passion project of a particular fan of mine who has insisted on my playing of it for- Wait, 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 hold on a second. Let's read that Discord. I love my friends and my OCs. You'll see a certain purple kobold here a lot. Her name is Riske and she's my gremlin. Insisted okay. on my playing of it for what could only be half of my entire goddamn YouTube career. I eventually <laughs> did play and beat Mabibli's Quest and okay. said I would do a review on the game. And this is my better late than never review. Okay. Mabibli's Quest describes itself as a retro style surrealistic platformer game. Join Mabibli as it blasts its way through 20 crazy and eclectic levels. Mabibli's quest is, in a more layman's terms, an homage to old school Mega Man style games. Okay. Where it differs in this fact is that Mabibli's quest is batshit insane and refuses <laughs> to allow you to understand it. You okay. play as Mabibli. What is Mabibli? I don't know. It's this funny pink reptile thing that runs around on a quest to, to save the world. It looks like a bat. And your arch nemesis is Crocodile. 
It looks like a wingless bat. And Dibley with his beautiful golden locks. You also have many other important enemies in the game, such as Old Man Ibley, Planet Old Man Ibley? Worm Ibley, Red Flower Ibley, Dance Spot Ibley, Factor Ibley, Pencil Ibley, Rock, Rock Ibley, <clears throat> Paint Roll Ibley, and who can forget Giant Spike Block Ibley. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout Mibibli's quest Ibli, you can go through various Libli's that level Libli's that range in difficulty and style. For example, in the beginning <laughs> of the game, the main levels you go through are Art World, City, Rave, Cave, and Unknown. Each okay. level is a long series of platform Ibli segments that have various enemies across them. As Mibibli, you have three lives in Totibli, and the health bar for when you get hit by various smaller enemies. At some point throughout the level, there will be a checkpoint to- There's so much Ibli's. Ibli that off fucking god damn it. <laughs> the also has an NPC to talk to when you get there. Dialogue with the NPCs range from confusing to demonic in nature. <laughs> Life is pain. I hate then, once you complete the second half of the level, you are presented with another checkpoint, a okay. life refresh, and a boss fight. Once you have completed the boss fight, you will on occasion gain new attacks or abilities, such uh -huh. as an explosive dash and the Mabible, my beloved, that is a once per level invincibility and damaging attack. As really. Really mentioned in the synopsis, Mabibli's quest is 20 levels in total, and they become more and more absolutely unhinged as time goes on until eventually you beat the game and you can put that beautiful badge on your chest that says, You did it, you've beaten Mabibli's quest. Maybe depends on what game mode you played it on. Did you play it on Mabibli mode or did you play it on easy or double easy mode? Because, okay, here's the thing I didn't beat the game on Mabibli mode. What you're seeing back here, this gameplay footage, is the Bibli mode. See, I tried to and failed halfway through after I was ready to basically tear my liver out of my fucking bar. <laughs> I was able to beat the game on easy mode, which is a mode that allows for more platforms and other various tweaks to make difficulty, uh, you know, easier. Easy, easy yes. The Bibli mode is the main game mode. It is an absolute chunk of insanity, that one. But uh, there's a lot of LSD in this. Um. The, it's not going to be a long video. This one, my guess is under 20 minutes, probably around 15 in total, because games like Mega Man aren't really titles that require major breakdowns. Sure, I mean, you can yeah. make a two hour video essay on the cultural impact of Mega Man. I would not want to watch a two hour breakdown of the cultural impact of Mega Man. I really really would not want that and on the world the rise of platformers and how zero indirectly led to the assassination of franz ferdinand jump starting world war one but i think we're all familiar with that by now i'm not when it comes to schizophrenic mega man my simple statement is it's fucking hard and has insane speed running potential this game okay. made by one to two people i can never are they making out I tell if it was just the one guy or, or two people it's it just a nut punch. It is a nut shot defined into visuals. It is a kidney <laughs> stone manifest, agony <laughs> made form because it demands you be perfect at its gameplay system. Its gameplay system that doesn't always play fair and its levels that don't ever play fair. Croco Dibley's castle will make your controls flipped because that's just fun. Underwater levels make you move all sloppy because Lamau. And then there's that one with the hanging reanimated dead Mabiblies because I guess we needed that today. But the game is so goddamn challenging. The platform. See, this kind of thing, I, I know, me, this is a no for me. This is a hard no for me because there's no way I'm doing this. Forming and the movement between them is such a level of pain inducing. And it almost hides the fact that the actual levels have a surprisingly good amount of depth. I mean, there are the NPCs, which are, yeah. Welcome to digital land. What, you don't like it? Well, I do so. Yes. This place perpetually smells bad and I have lived here my whole life. I've only smelled bad smells. Congratulations. You are now Nurgle's kid. I'm just saying you are Nurgle's kid. What? My existence is now meaningless. Pie. 
You will never defeat this level. If you try, you will explode. Sometimes I... Wow. Really? But each level just has to kind of get it behind it that makes it either more infuriating no, it's, it's mainly more infuriating, but does uh -huh. keep the gameplay spiced up. I think it's just the fact that these types of gimmicks are always so damn weird that it makes it fun. Like the shattered glass no. or doing DDR inputs while platforming or that crocodibly castle section. It's like someone inventing new torture devices. No. Just on one end, you think, oh God, that's horrible. But on the other end, there's this certain level of appreciation for it. Like, damn, you gotta be a real interesting individual to come with something that awful. And while you're not interesting so much as what's wrong with you currently residing in the game version of the brazen bull it's being overlaid uh. by one of the better retro soundtracks i've heard in recent memory there's just this this cognitive dissonance occurring when you're screaming your head off smashing your keyboard <laughs> and genuinely losing your goddamn mind and in the background you're hearing that's not bad That's actually not bad. What am I? Wa no, nah, it doesn't look it doesn't right. Make you feel like you know what's happening at all. It's such a, a visual and auditory stimuli like wave a tsunami of this combination of anger and, and enjoyment but at the same time like oh my god what is even happening now what this gameplay system and then this bop and soundtrack it's just it hits you one after the one of the worst things i ever saw was the game getting over it because you're sitting there trying not to lose your mind and every time you fail you got somebody giving you like compliments and advice and encouragement and it just makes you even matter <laughs> the other just punches to the cranium i mean i think i got to around level seven out of the 20 before generally giving up and swapping to easy mode though because of that it should be stated i think there's actually a really hidden speed running opportunity here not only because okay. it's a platformer style game and the levels and all that but just the weirdness of it and the combinations of weapons and how you get through all the platforming and just the simplistic but also in batshit insane nature of it it's really a game that i think could have a, a genuinely solid kind of underground speedrunning community and it makes sense that i would think that because the person who recommended the game to me whose footage you're seeing <laughs> behind me holds the current third place world record for speedrunning mabibli's quest the okay. fan of mine who keeps on recommending it and constantly memed on me with it for like a year before i actually ended up playing it and i wanted him to uh, say a few words on it so here you go. <laughs> so, the Bibli's Quest is a game that I myself didn't find. Back in college, a friend had me play Space Funeral while we were hanging out in the dorm, and after being King of enjoying crime. that whole surreal experience, he took my laptop from me, and ten minutes later he gave me it, and Bibli was just running and ready to play. Over the okay. course of the semester, I threw myself at it when I had the time, failed horribly, but it was mostly its charm and the fact that I never really knew what I was going to have to do next is really what kept me in. That with it. So the first looking. world I had gone into was Rave, which I absolutely love that. Was I am Dampy, Dampy, the poorly drawn dancing mouse. Rave, which is a level that's all themed Dance Dance Revolution. So having those kind of elements in a platformer really took my expectations and blew them for a loop. And I really feel like that's what okay. the really strongest factor is. It's built upon breaking your expectations. You know, it's leaving you always wondering what could happen next. The yeah, uh, this works in games. It doesn't work in Star Wars. I'm just saying. First fight with Crocodibly, an absolute acid trip. But the other aspect of it that I love is the music, actually, because when you 
you boot up Mabibli's Quest or even listen to the soundtrack, you notice that it's all very much chiptune. And it okay. has that very cute chiptune aesthetic, and it's really good. And then when you go into Art World, it's pretty much the same thing. And once you get into the Crocodibly fight, it starts off that same way. Once things start going a little weird, Crocodibly replaces his health bar, which is uh-huh. another sort of breaking the expectations. The music goes from a chip tune, and it just goes electric guitar, just start jamming out. It adds so much no, to it that doesn't. first pause. It would drive it's me a crazy. experience of the game itself, along with the constant wondering what the game will flip on its head. It makes it really unforgettable for me as just a game experience, not even as, you know, even a speed run. They can definitely get difficult and aggravating at points. But uh-huh. as long as you are, you know, patient, take the time to play it, and are just really into or have an open mind for a game that's just... A- that's just creepy. A little more weird. I would always 100% recommend Midbuckley's Quest. Obviously, he has much nicer words about the game than I do sometimes uh-huh. because sometimes I'm playing Midbuckley's Quest thinking to myself, who would make this game? Why is this so goddamn hard? But every game <laughs> has that person who just really vibes with the difficulty, really appreciates the challenge, really likes to be challenged, and finds enjoyment in perfecting their run, speed run, or getting through the levels, or just being so good at the darn game. I was never really a speed okay. running kind of person. Uh, it's kind of this like monotonous over and over kind of thing where every single major skip or speed up or whatever for the game chunks off milliseconds seconds and that's just right. not quite enough of a dopamine thing for me but there's well i can definitely understand the appeal of speed running i just it's not something i could do myself no denying the talent needed to be a really good speed runner and how much effort you can put into learning how to speed run the game and hmm. i'm just saying hmm. speed runners out there who want to try something try on a Bibli's quest it's really hard but it's really rewarding and it's always right. fun to shout out i'd love to see martin cedo pants throw himself into this a completely random confusing lsd trip mega man style platformers for people to look at so yeah uh the Bibli's quest you know feels nice to kind of shout out an indie game a little bit it's always fun to do that every so often yeah. especially when they came out a while ago it's a really wacky one it's really hard i'm not sure if many of you will be able to beat it on the bibli mode i wasn't able to and i mean i'm not the gameriest gamer out there but i'm somewhat of Neither a gamer and so if you're looking for just a surrealist platformer like that I mean, I give it a look. I'll put the link on the Steam page down in the description. So yeah, yeah Mabibli's quest review done. Obligation made. Mabibli. Mabibli. I, don't, I still don't know what it is. This was a quick <laughs> video, I know, but I will be seeing you hopefully sometime soon for a larger video after this one. A little, a little more meat on it, but meat. platformers don't have much to say on it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Great seeing you. Bye, gamer subs. Bye. Come on. Obviously, you're scared. Guys, okay, so a game like this would make me seppuku myself, okay? There's no way in God's green earth that I could play this without losing my mind. I have no ability to handle that level of frustration. Like, at one point, I think I might have, but that time has long since passed me by. Uh, guys, just a whole bunch of cool stuff going on, um, but... Okay, what am I gonna do? That little bat creature, the the dialogue, everything else like that, this would eventually drive me insane. Um, I would never have gotten into the games if they were like that, ever, under any circumstance. It would it would drive me crazy. 4X is my style, um, real-time strategy, things like that. Games like Bannerlord, Stellaris, those are my type of games. All right, guys, I'm going to get ready to head out. I hear the wife in there yelling at me to get get a move on and get on with my day because uh, she's making demands, as she normally does, and complaining, as she normally does. <laughs> she's going to hit me. <laughs> Guys, um, I will see you next time. Until then, hit the, hit, the, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Check out the Patreon, and um, yeah, there's going to be, I'm going to be trying to do a lot more on Patreon than I have been, Um, and I'm going to be trying to do a lot more other stuff. It's just getting to it. 
I'll catch you guys next time. Just, my time is gone. <laughs>